Hi, I'm David Tutera, entertaining expert and host of Get Married, which is on Lifetime, airing daily every morning at 7.30 a.m. So you're thinking about throwing a Halloween party? Listen, it's not just for the kiddies, it's also for adults. So take a look at this, what may seem elaborate, but actually a very simple concept to create for a Halloween dinner party. By the way, you can have a great cocktail party, but you can have a fantastic dinner party for all the adults. It starts with a great invitation, but ask your guests, of course, to a Halloween party to get dressed up. Maybe give them a theme. Perhaps ask them to dress as one of their favorite characters from a past or current television show, which is a fun thing to do. Then the guests come and they're already part of the mood and they become part of the design for the actual party. So this starts out with black and white. Black is, of course, a great color for Halloween. Don't go orange, by the way, because it's too, too expected. In the middle of the table, we have black containers that are holding white candles. And you'll notice something that's really simple to do. Quick trip to any one of the party stores. Everybody has some great Halloween things to pick up. On the outside, we have these glitter spiders that are glued to the outside of the white pillar candles with a little bit of rhinestones along the edge, that little extra glitter that you want to have on the table. Now, surrounding the candles in the middle are black roses, which are great because they add that, of course, sort of mysterious look to your Halloween table. And you've got white pumpkins, so again, not the orange pumpkins. And the votive candle is a very inexpensive votive candle, which has been painted with some clear glue and some uh, black glitter, so it actually has an extra sparkle as well. Now, the table setting is really important. What do you think of when you think of spiders? You think of the web of a spider. So white yarn, which has been crisscrossed from the middle of the table down to the outside, and at each of the points where the web matches, or I should say meets, you've got a little teeny crystal adding again that little extra sparkle to the top of the table, which is a black tablecloth with the white spider web overlay. In the middle of the play setting, which is a black charger plate, there is a black napkin with a little bit of a leather faux ribbon along the outside, and that dark rose just placed right in the center. Now these are the little things that people will notice, and again, these are things that truly anybody can do. You know, when you're thinking about entertaining, I want you to remember something. Don't get panicked. Don't think that you can't do it. Don't worry about all of the details. Take it and break it apart and turn it into a party plan. So again, the invitation. You think about what you're going to serve, so have some fun with the food. Maybe get a little playful with the food and serve the food and have a garnish with maybe some gummy worms and some some um, kernel corn, things that you think about when you're a kid when you're having a Halloween party. And then a great drink also on that menu. Think of a fun drink, a specialty drink that you want to serve. I'm going to name one for you. Call it a Black Widow. and I'll show you how to make a Black Widow. People will have a blast sipping on it throughout the Halloween party. Let's try a Black Widow. It's a great name. So now how do you make the drink? So in a martini shaker with ice, we're going to put two ounces of a black vodka. And then we're going to add in one ounce of Palma pomegranate liqueur. And then a splash of cranberry juice. And we're going to shake that up really well. What I've already done on the rim of the martini glass is I've moistened the glass. And you can use a lemon. You can use triple sec. And I've dipped it into black sugar, which is that great garnish for the Halloween drink. Shake up the ingredients. And then we had great drink, which is a Black Widow. So you got your food, you've got the middle of your table, which is your design, and of course you want to have some fun, funky, and not so serious music being played at your dinner party. And make sure the pace is going rapidly. You want people to arrive, enjoy a cocktail party, and then perhaps every course is being served. Make sure it goes every 30 minutes. You change it from first course to entree to dessert, because you want people wanting to get more and ready to leave when the party is just about over. So simple tips, create that party plan, throw a Halloween party, and you know what, next year so you'll throw a second one and the people will come dressed in different costumes. Have fun.